Hey everybody, Matt Ball here from Action Coach in Loughborough, here with another episode of the Business Spotlight. And I'm delighted today to be joined by two business owners. I'm joined by Caroline and Harriet from Boutique Housekeeping UK. Now, I'm going to come to you first, Caroline, if you could just give a little bit about your background and, and how long you've been in business for. Um, hi, Matt. So we've been in business for about six and a half years now. Um, prior to that, I was always in footwear footwear buyer and then into um supplying so that was great um and then had a few other doubles and other things that gave me an idea for boutique housekeeping excellent and yourself harrier what tell us a little bit about your background so my background is um initially worked with horses uh, and then went into the prison service which was very exciting and then i worked for a homeless charity so quite a varied background and then Caroline and I met on a dog walk and boutique housekeeping began. <laughs> oh, excellent. So Harriet, did you did you know each other before the dog walk or was it a pure coincidence? We we were a group of of sort of very, very early morning dog walkers and we we just met sort of in the village, uh, walking our wild dogs. <laughs> and then yeah, we just got got sort of chatting. So we weren't friends before. Um, but yeah, we just sort of came together. Excellent, excellent. So um, a question I ask everybody who comes on the Spotlight series, the first question is, um, what when you think of the word success, what, who, which person or an inspirational figure comes to mind for each of you? Caroline, I'll come to you first. Um, for me, it's probably got to be Tony Robbins, actually, because he's overcome so much. You know, when you think about where he came from and the hard childhood he had and how he's just set out to transform people's lives and feed people. I just think that's amazing. So to me, yeah, that's success, giving back. Very good, very good. And you have yourself, Harriet? Well, I've been stolen from. Um, <laughs> we, we, um, you know, I, I can't think of anybody. Tony Robbins is always the one that's kind of, mm. we've done a lot of sort of reading and kind of listening to Tony Robbins. Um, but he's always the one, really. That's really boring, isn't it, to have we are very okay. similar. Uh, and well, yeah. 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 Well, what I'll ask you then, Harry, is, is what does the word success mean to you then? That might be... Yeah, well, I think about. the word success is so different for everybody, isn't it? And I think that's really important um, because I think sort of traditionally you can think that success is a nice car and lots of money and a great big house. But I think success is so individual to everybody. And to me personally, um, it's f freedom. It's freedom to be able to um you know make the choices of how you want to live your life um and i think that is the the yeah the main the main thing really it's freedom brilliant, brilliant and a lot of people would say the same a lot of people would say the same so you've been in business now about six or seven years um being a business owner we we learn a lot along the journey um caroline what would you say the biggest lesson you've had since since you started this this business is to try and see everything from the other person's point of view really is probably the biggest learning because when you can stand in someone else's shoes, you can see where they're coming from, you can understand what they need and you can find the compromise or the decision that you know you need to make between you. Yeah. Brilliant. And for yourself, Harriet? I think that um I think that mindset, I've really learned that how important, you know your mindset is to to business because it's not always straightforward and it's not always easy um and I think that it, it sort of came to me probably I don't know maybe three years ago somebody said that you um would you choose you, you can choose how you feel and that can sound a bit wishy-washy sometimes but actually I think when you really break it down it's you can apply that to everything in life and I think that if you you know if you if you're having a difficult time or you've got a, a difficult sort of decision to make and we all go through these sort of harder patches, I think that if you can just kind of apply that sort of mentality of, hang on a minute, am I coming at this from the right, you know, have I got, am I coming at this from the right kind of angle and am I, would I choose to, how would I choose to feel in this situation? You can kind of take take yourself out of that and think mindset's super important. And, and how's that, I suppose, you know, obviously it's been, um... A tough few years for a lot of business owners with with lockdowns and what have you. 
how did, did you did you have to pivot the business at all? Obviously, you're very much in people's homes, I suppose, with the nature of your business. How how did that pan out for you, Caroline? Um, to be honest, we were really lucky because we were classed as cleaning industry, so we were able to go back into people's homes fairly quickly, and we had already sort of guessed that there might be a problem, so we'd already bought face masks. And we were quite quick off the mark, weren't we? So we just set strict rules in how distance to keep from people and, you know, the cloths have to be washed at high temperatures and things really that we've carried on. But yeah, people were so pleased to have us back. It was lovely, really lovely. Brilliant. And for, you, for yourself, Harry, as, as, as we sort of come out of, of that, that period of time, what do you see as the growth aspirations for the business moving forward? Um, I think, well, we've we've got, huge great big plans to to really to grow our our current um business but also looking ahead we um are working on franchising the business um we absolutely love running this business we love what we do we love helping people our, you know we've got a really great team around us and we think that it would be it would be really mean to not give other people <laughs> the opportunity to do that too um and yeah so that's our that's our next big step that we're working on and that's our um, Brilliant. Big plan. And and what do you how do you see um the sort of sector that, that you work in evolving? You know, what kind of challenges I suppose are out there for you at the moment, Caroline? Um I think we are quite unique in our offering because we are full lifestyle management and home management rather than sort of cleaning or anything too basic. So um we'd be quite hard. I don't know. I think there's always a a worry, isn't there, in times of sort of economic troubles, you know, whether businesses will survive, but hopefully because of where we're at and at the higher end of the market and because we're giving people a full, really full service that we'll be able to ride the storm better. Amazing. It sounds it sounds like from our research and also when we had the little chat before that you're very purpose driven organisation. You really sort of care about what you do is that is that is that would that be right Harriet absolutely yeah completely and sort of both sides you know we we care um and put so you know our heart and soul into what we do for our clients um and we you know we 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 absolutely love what we do and we love helping people but also for our team as well we we put a lot of, of effort into uh, making sure that our team are engaged and happy and I think that's so important because often our team are, are the face of our business. <clears throat> they're the they're the people that our clients are seeing on a day to day basis, and it's always been so important to us that they're happy and engaged in their work. I mean, it's one of the the biggest challenges we we hear from business owners at the moment is is that challenge about finding great staff. I mean, how how is that? Um, have you had that challenge yourselves, Caroline, or is it have you found it? I mean. But you're very purpose driven, obviously, sound like a great place to work. Have you found it hard to recruit? We go through patches when it's hard to recruit, but there's always somebody, a shining star that comes out and you can just tell that they're going to love the work. And they do. I mean, it, it is the most rewarding work ever. It really is. Um, and you can just see there's the odd person that really gets it and really wants to sort of use their mind to be able to <clears throat> help people as much as possible and find jobs that need doing and you know, make suggestions to clients to make their lives easier. And, and once you get the, the right person, they love it. They really enjoy it. Excellent. Excellent. Um, there's a question um, I, of, I ask people that they often sort of laugh at me a bit about this, but you guys have obviously taken that that journey. You've made that bold leap from the dog walk to where you've got to now with, with amazing growth aspirations. But if you were to... Ask, give some advice to your 18 year old self, given the journey you've been on so far. What advice would you each give your, give that 18 year old version of yourself? I'll, I'll come to you first, Harriet, because I saw you thinking there. <laughs> My thinking face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh, lots of advice, but the one that really stands out to me, I think, is to be brave and to just do it. I think it's so easy to get stuck into your own head or you know, think, well, what will people think? Or, you know, and I think actually to just be brave and do it. And I think that I would apply that to all aspects, actually, of my life. I think, you know, age, we learn an awful lot, don't we, as we get older. And 
that's part of you know part of the process but yeah I'd say just to be a bit braver and just just think there's a big old world out there and you can you can do and be whoever you want to be amazing and yourself Caroline mm, I'd probably be patient because um you know all the things all the jobs you go through all the people you meet are just driving you towards the place that you're going to end up and where you're meant to be so be patient enjoy the journey that you're on and have fun very cool very cool yeah now there's um it's it's tough for a lot of business owners out there at the moment and we know from the people that we talk to one of the key things that business owners struggle is often a sense of of being alone um of, of that sense of learning. and with the partnership you two have clearly got it's you're in a sort of a pretty lucky position but i'm asking people at the moment i'm saying if you've got a bit of advice for anybody any business owner who's feeling a little bit challenged a little bit alone and like like things are against them what advice would you give give that person at the moment um i'll, I'll come to you first harry again if that's all right i think that i would say we are so lucky we are so lucky that we've got each other and we never take that for granted ever um but i think that you if i was on my own i think i would i would say that to get out there and build build a network and that doesn't need to be a network of people that you might necessarily do business with um but just a network of other business owners or other people in similar positions i think it's always that thing isn't there if you if you just put yourself out there you will find other people in the same position it's so easy to look at other people and think oh my goodness they've got it made they know what they're doing and actually nobody does all the time so i think get out there and, and build yourself a network in, in whatever form that needs to take it might be the friends that you walk the dog with that you might just sound off to or you know it might be that you go out to some networking or you know a business coach you know anybody you can really build a network awesome yourself, yourself caroline yeah, totally agree Agree with Harriet, you know, get out there and speak to as many people as you can, because you don't know who's going to have that gem of wisdom that you need or that quiet word that's going to, you know, make you realise that everything's OK. But yeah, definitely, I think all the business coaching we've had has just really, really, really helped to have somebody else to just look at your business from the outside and say, look, it's fine. And this is, you know, think about what you want to do next. So, yeah, it's other people. Other people is really helpful. Excellent. Excellent. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you both. It's a, an amazing story, both of how you've met and the journey you've been on so far. Um, definitely one of those episodes that I could go on longer. But as, a, <laughs> as, as we said, we're about there. So absolute pleasure having you both on. Um, thank you again. And to our viewers, I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode of the Business Spotlight. Many thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.